Good morning, my name is Hannah Garrett and I teach fourth grade at Donahoe Elementary School. Today we're going to be working on place value with decimals, so let's go check it out. Welcome to Miss Garrett's Decimal Diner. Good morning! Thank you so much for coming over to your carpet spot. Our quick grading this morning, we're going to do it as quick as possible. It's just going to be our normal clap right, clap left, clap double. Capiche? All right, remember I'm looking for eye contact. It's okay, clap right, clap left, clap double, pass it. Clap right. Clap left, clap double, pass it. Thank you for turning on, though. Clap right, clap left, clap double, pass. Clap right, clap left, clap double, pass. Good. Seeing some good eye contact this morning. Good job, friends. Clap, double, good. Ready, Jabari? Clap, right. Clap, left. Clap, double, pass it. Clap, right. Clap, left. Clap, double, pass it. Good. Good. Good morning. All right, friends, we're going to do our I can this morning. Turn your f eyes to face the board. I can, I can. Compare, compare, order, order and, round and round decimals to the nearest whole number. I want everyone thinking right now, why are we learning about decimals? Why is it important? Thinking right now when you have an idea, you have a thumbs up. should see everyone thinking right here. When you have an idea, thumbs up. Why are we learning about decimals? Go ahead and whisper to the person next to you and tell them. What kind of things around the world use decimals? All right, hands up for ideas. I should see lots of hands up. I heard a lot of good things just from talking to David. Daisy, what's one thing that we use? We can use it in the real world. What are some ways we can use it in the real world? I want some examples. Ethan. When you're buying something, like when it says $4 and it's 50%. Good, when you are buying something. What else, Allison? You can use it for a thermometer. When Therm you Love it. Thermometer. So for temperature, right? When else can we use it, Daniela? For height. How can we use decimals for height? How can we use decimals for height? Mm -hmm. Like the extra centimeters? Good. What are some other things that we can use decimals for, Taishan? And some cents, guys. So paying bills. There are a lot of things we can use decimals for. Let me do one more. Kanaya. Money. Woo! That's a big one. All right. We're going to repeat after me. I can. I can. Use decimals in the real world for buying, temperature, height, paying bills, money.
teach. Okay. All right, go ahead. Tell them all the things you can use decimals for. Can you teach me? What can you use decimals for? Right here. Perfect. Right here. What can you use it for? Good. You can use decimals in the real world for buying, temperature, height, paying bills, and money. Hey, class. Yes. Thank you for teaching each other what you can use decimals for. All right. Let's just review really quickly. Level zero when others are talking. Okay. There are two ways to sit. So check your body. Eyes are on the speaker, which might be your classmates, respectful of your, class. and raise your hand to speak. Good job. All right. Right here, this is our Henrico Learner Profile, okay? What have we been working on very, hardly, very hard in our class for the Henrico Learner Profile? If you want to think for a minute, that's fine. Just think for a minute. We've been talking about this for weeks. What, what have we been working on just in our class every day? We work on the same thing. Really hard. All right, hands up. Jaden, do you, what do you? Communicator. Communicator. What does it mean to be a good communicator? Allison. When you're using your words to either agree with somebody or not to agree with somebody. Okay, so what are some of our prompts that we have on our desk every day that can help us be good communicators? Tyshawn? I agree. I disagree. Uh, I want to end. You want to ask? Yeah, I want to add. You want to add something to their thinking? Good, what else? If you have the same way of doing something, you can add extra, you can relate to them, good. All right, what other things have we been talking about in our classroom? Hi, Sean. Good, creative thinkers. What does it mean to be a creative thinker? What do you guys think? I need some more hands. Cedric, what do you think a creative thinker is? You create something and you might be help creating it. Good. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a lot of different things. We just worked on decimals, and I see you're all wearing your aprons today because we're doing what today? A decimal? Timer. Okay, so that also brings us to, let's see, global citizen. Why would that bring us to global citizen? Why would we, why would we be doing a decimal diner in our classroom? Daniela? Uh-huh, what else? Do you know, Melanie? To help you learn more because... In the real world, could we one day work at a diner? Yes. Yeah, could we be a waitress or a waiter or a chef? Yes. So today you're going to be doing things in your groups. You're going to be communicating. You're going to be collaborating. And you're going to be doing things at your table that are going to practice both decimals and all the things that we work on for our Henrico Learner Profile. Okay? So Mrs. Garrett's going to go over a few things that you're doing at each station. The first one, standard versus written form. I want everyone to say, I got it. I got it. You are going to be setting the table. Okay? You're going to see plates that have word form and silverware that has standard form and you're going to have to communicate and collaborate. So you're going to have to build on each other's ideas of how your group is going to best do it. Does that make sense? So everyone's going to find their plate and match their silverware and you're going to set the table. Capiche? All right. What questions does this one create for you? Okay. If you're an early finisher, that means your table finishes before our 10 minutes is up. You're going to flip it over and you're going to see early finishers. Create your own standard form on an empty spoon and have someone at your table create the word form on a plate to match. This is only if you finish early. Okay? All right. Let's do rounding decimals. Okay? Rounding decimals. You are going to be using a menu and you're going to pick out what your appetizer is, your drink, your entree, which is like your main meal, and your dessert. You're going to have to round the prices and add them up to see if you have enough money. I'm giving you $20, and you have to see if you can pick a meal that costs $20. Okay? All right, I want you to repeat after me. Rounding's not that hard to do. Rounding's not that hard to do. Let me show you the rules. Let me show you the rules. For the numbers five through nine. For the numbers five through nine. Round that number up the line. Round that number up the line. For the numbers four or less. For the numbers four or less. Let it rest. Let it rest. So if you are forgetting what rounding is and you need to sing the song to yourself, remember we are rounding to the nearest whole number. So you need to box the whole number, look next door, and decide five or more, add one, four or less. Okay, you decide that. 
What questions do you have about rounding with decimals? No questions? Early finishers. Use a dry erase marker there at your table. Students will select another meal and round it to the total. You can even try adding up the exact amount and see if it matches. See if it's close. All right. We have two more. Comparing decimals. Today, you are the chef. In order to make your customers happy, it is your job to put the hamburgers together. Okay? You're going to see when you get to your table, it's kind of like a puzzle. You're going to be building with the base 10 block. You're going to look for the decimal, and you're going to show our different greater than, less than, or equal to symbols. Okay? What questions do you have about creating your meal for your customers? Okay. Early finishers, you will draw a hamburger on your dry erase board, and you will create a problem that has either a greater than, less than, or equal to, and have someone at your table answer it for you. Okay? So only if you finish it early will you be drawing a hamburger. Should I see you drawing a hamburger as soon as you get to the station? No, you are matching with your group first. All right, the last one. Congratulations! You have finished your first day at the job. In order to take the receipts to the bank, you need to order the total from least to greatest. Say it with me. Least, least to greatest. greatest. I don't want to see anyone doing it from greatest to least because you're going to record this as well as your rounding station on your placemat that's going to go to each table with you. Okay? So you're going to be rounding right here and you're going to be putting the different receipts based on their color in order from least to greatest. These instructions will be at each table so you'll be able to go back through it really good and double check to make sure you're doing it right. Okay? Early finishers. Each member can create their own receipt. I have the receipt pads over at the ta this table right here for table one. So use a menu if you need and order the sums. So once everyone has finished creating their own receipt, then you order it from least to greatest. Only if you're an early finisher. Capiche? All right, let's go over the expectations for our decimal diner. I want everyone to make sure their eyes are on me. This is very important. Make sure you're sitting up all the way, two ways to sit. Okay. <laughs> We need to be at a voice level one, okay? What would happen if we're at voice level two, voice level three, or voice level four? What do you think? Right, it might be hard to focus and we might get confused, okay? So if we're at a voice level one, that means we're doing what? Whispering, okay? So you don't want the other tables to hear your thinking because when they get there, they need to think for themselves and collaborate, okay? So we're gonna be at a level one whisper, if that sounds good for you. Capiche? Second thing, there's going to be a timer up on the board. The timer says 12 minutes, but I'm going to tell you when it's 10 minutes, and that's when you're going to stop. You're going to clean everything up so it's just the way that I left it. And when the, you hear the timer, that's your cue. Leave your pencil, put your pencils all back. You're going to take your placemat, you're going to push in your chair, and we're going to go clockwise. So look at the tables right now. That means table one goes to three, three to four, four to two, two to one. We're going around like a clock. What questions do you have about rotating? Jada. So we're all going to finish at the same time because even if we don't finish everything, we have to keep it moving, right? So when I say, oh, it's a 10 minute warning, clean up. Everyone's going to clean up and as soon as they hear the 12 minute timer, that's when everyone switches so that we're on, we're on pace with it. Okay? What other questions do you have about decimal diners? I think you guys are pretty ready. Okay, so, Cedric? Are we going to actually serve customers cheaper? So you guys can pretend once you've already matched it, you can pretend to be customers if you want to. Okay, but you're not going to get up and do that. All right, if you need anything, you are going to raise your, we're not going to get up. Capiche? All right, what's going to happen is we're going to do a decimal diner chant, and then we're going to tiptoe to our table and get started. I want everyone to put your hands in. Put your hands in. We're going to say decimal diners on three. Ready? One, two, three. Decimal, decimal diners. diners. Okay, come here, see. We're going to start with the first one. And let's put this on because that's just for an extension for today. Okay, let's put that under. All right, these are our four numbers. Can you see them, Alina? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me the first total price? Mm -hmm. Hi, Sean. and 96. Hundreds. Good. 16 and 96 hundredths. All right, what else do you see? 13, 13 dollars and 86 hundredths. Good. 17 and 44 hundredths. Christopher, can you read this one to me?
95, do you think you have enough money for that? Probably not. And you probably could if you choose if you chose um, a cheaper amount. And if you order it and then at the bottom you don't have enough money, instead of circling yes, you would just circle no. So if it costs a little bit more, it's okay. Put some in your bottom of the line. So. Often. Do you think that you could share your menu with Jabari? Because you can't see very well. Do you guys think you can share your menu? Actually, there's an extra one over here. 99 Did we already set the table? All right, what's the early furniture assignment? And make your own. Good. Why don't you guys write it in? Hmm, I'm going to get you some Sharpies so you can practice. Be very careful not to mix them in with the ones we've already done, okay? They've already done. Look how much time they have left. Great job, you guys. You're doing a good job communicating and collaborating. This is your third year. I need 13 and 21. I'm finding a lot. Are you all working together on that? I'm trying to find 13 and 21. Alright, so it wouldn't just be 13, it would be 13 what? And. 13. Hundreds. Oh, and 21. Hundreds. Is that what you needed? So what do you say to Daniela? Thank you. All right. Cool. Okay, that's my home. I'm at 862,000. Okay. How are you doing? All right, so which one are you looking for? So he's looking for 1600s and 8200s. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Does anyone see a greater than for Zeltana to use? Why don't we put all the ones in the middle that we haven't done yet? Okay? Put all the ones in the middle that we haven't done yet. So I want you to start using this. Alright, how many hundreds are shaded in here, you guys? It's two less than a hundred because there's only two white boxes. So what would this be? Ninety. Ninety. No, 9,800. 9, so let's see if we can find one that starts 9,800. Do you see one? No. Yes, 9,800 and 9,900. So that one definitely has to be a match. So which one is greater? If we were to line them up and we had 9 and 9, 9 and 9 are the... Which one did? They're the same. And 8 and 9, which one's greater? 99. Good. Thank you for watching our lesson today with place value and decimals. At Donahoe, we're learning to be a game changer. Make it your mark!